Spaceport America near TRC will launch another unmanned rocket into space on May 4th. That as work continues on a terminal and runway for sending tourists into outer space. Meanwhile, preparations for May's launch include some dramatic tests in the past few days. The latest now from pilot reporter Bob Martin. When launching experiments into space and landing by parachute, the private rocket company Up Aerospace seeks the best chance of landing softly by testing it all out, first on the ground. Well, we have uh, black boxes on board that have uh, the computers that are running that monitor the mission, and they send the signals in order to separate the booster off. The ground test finds a minor electrical glitch, which is quickly fixed. Now it's time to try free fall. Albuquerque's AeroWest Helicopters hauls the payload section 9,000 feet up and cuts it loose. The payload is balanced to descend flat like a skydiver instead of nose down. Onboard computers must deploy the drogue at the right altitude. We use explosives, actually, to blow off what we call a drag plate, and that, uh, that's a ballistic slug or something heavy that pulls the drogue out at the right time. After the drogue chute stabilizes things, the main chute is deployed. Within five minutes, a safe touchdown in the desert. Touchdown, five minutes on the button. The parachute system inside here will next be used to gently lower a payload section, similar to this, full of student science experiments. Liftoff is set for May 4th. Meanwhile, nearby, the $200 million main spaceport complex is rapidly filling this part of the Jornada del Muerto, the 10,000-foot concrete runway nearing completion, and the massive terminal building taking shape. Who's to say what to follow after that? You know, it's, it's a good start. And then, of course, in the meantime, we're continuing to work with other companies to see what else we can do. Gomez hopes space tourists are just part of the future. Bob Martin, KRQE News 13, near TRC. The science experiments on that next launch all come from New Mexico universities, community colleges, and one from a high school.